Hello all, welcome to part 63 of TextNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to implement listeners at class level using at the rate listeners annotation from TextNG. In the previous session, we have seen that, this is the previous session guys, this is the current session. In the previous session, we have seen that though we have created a class and implemented this ITest listener predefined interface from TestNG and overridden the methods of them and also created the test methods and have executed them, this particular test methods, these overridden methods of this uh, my listeners class that I created in the previous session have not been invoked, okay? Because there was no connection between the class having these test methods and the class having this overridden methods of the ITest listener interface, okay? That was a problem that you have, that we have seen that. Now, let's go to the solution part. We can implement these listeners at class level. That means we can connect a class to this listeners class, which is implementing the overridden methods of the ITest listener interface. And there is an annotation for that, guys. That is at the rate listeners annotation. We have to use annotation like this. I'll show you. Earlier I told you, right? Even though, okay, I have run this particular class having these test methods, none of the methods which are implemented or overridden from this ITS listener in this my listeners class, user defined class, or not got invoked. None of these methods got invoked. Otherwise, we got these print statements in the output, right? That didn't happen. I'll show you again. If I say run all, all these five test methods in the login class will be executed, but none of the uh, methods in this uh, my listeners class, which is implementing the ITS listeners, listeners interface from TestNG library, have been invoked. None of these methods got invoked, guys. You see the output here only the method statements got printed, okay? Only the test methods uh, got invoked, okay, printed, okay? This login and uh, login with valid credentials like this got printed, okay? But this method, uh, the code that we have written inside this, uh, this particular listener methods, which need to be invoked when this test methods get started or passed or failed are not got invoked. So the reason is there is no connection between the login class and my listeners class here. How to make a connection? How to make a connection guys, okay? So here we can make a connection by providing on the top of this class, you provide an annotation known as listeners annotation. Okay, just provide an annotation known as listeners annotation and uh, import this okay, L-I-S-T-E-N-E-R-S, -E -E spelling mistake guys, over the mouse and import this listeners from TestNG library and here provide the circular brackets and here you have to mention the name of the listeners class. If you only have one class, there is no need of providing the curly braces. This curly braces is required, okay? This curly braces are required when you have multiple listener classes, okay? But here only one listeners class is there. So we'll follow this process, okay? We just provide the name of the class. Let's say this name of the class is my listeners. So here you don't have to provide the curly braces. That is optional, guys. Whether you provide or not doesn't matter. My listeners dot class, I'll say, okay? My listeners dot class and uh, you see from listeners package, my listeners class is coming. Now, once you connect this login class with the my listeners class, now run the test. Now run the same test from this login class. You will see that this methods in the my listeners class, overridden methods of this uh, ITest listener in this my listeners class will be invoked now. When the test starts, when the test passes, okay? Most of the tests will pass here, okay? None of the tests will fail. So all the tests will pass. So on test start will be invoked, on test success will be invoked, okay? There are no tests or which are skipping for now. We'll not go in that. On test start will be invoked on finish also will be invoked. Nothing will be failed. So only few test methods from this my listeners class will be invoked for not for now. Later we'll change the code here and uh, intentionally we'll fail and see that, okay? To make other uh, test, uh, other methods of this my listeners to get invoked. You'll see that, you can see that test execution started. That means where is that uh, statement guys? On test start, on start you see? on start, test execution started. That means this particular on start method in this my listeners class got invoked already, okay? Then login with valid credentials method has started. Where is this, where is this one? On test start, okay? Test name, login with valid credentials has started, started, okay? Started. Then the test method got executed. The test method in the login.java got executed according to the priority. Then it has passed, you see? Is passed. Where, uh, which method in this uh, my listeners got invoked? On test success method got invoked. Okay, these are the listener methods, guys, which are getting invoked based on the events uh, thrown by this login class. Okay, 
So here you see its name passed. That's the reason it, here it is printing login with valid credentials passed. Again, login with valid, val, uh, valid email and invalid password started. Then it got executed here. Then login with valid email and invalid password got passed. Then other method started, executed, passed, started, executed, passed, started, executed, passed. And finally, here test execution completed. Okay, that is on test, on finish, test execution completed, got printed. So some of the methods got invoked. Now I want to invoke the failure, on test failure, on test skipped, on test failed with timeout also. For that, I'll go to the login.java and intentionally will provide do something. Here I'll do some assert statement, guys. Okay, in one of the test method, I'll assert and assert true, I'll say. And uh, I'll just give false here so that this particular uh, test will fail. Intentionally, I am failing, guys. Okay, but it is expecting true, but I am providing false means this particular test method will fail. When this is failed, which uh, method will be invoked? On test fail, uh, on test failed. Okay, on test failure will be invoked. Okay, test failed will be printed for the second test method. And uh, for skipping, for skipping, uh, for skipping or uh, other method, there is one more method here. On test failed with timeout. Okay, so I'll intentionally make one or another test also to fail. Here I'll say timeout is equal to timeout is equal to I'll give only one second. Okay, timeout attribute is equal to one second. Change to timeout, guys. It's capital O we have to give. Okay. I explained about timeout in one of the previous sessions. And here I'm giving thread dot sleep, guys. Okay. Intentionally giving thread dot sleep as 2000 milliseconds. That means here, if this particular test is not executed within one second, it will fail. So here it will take two seconds. So it will definitely fail. Okay. And the reason for the failure is on test failed with timeout reason. Okay. This particular method will be invoked, guys. Okay. This particular method in the my reasons will be invoked. Then uh, I'll make uh, another method. Okay, let's say this priority for method depend on this failed method, one of the failed methods. For example, uh, I, uh, I'll make this uh, depends on, okay? So here I'll make this uh, method for depends on method is equal to depends on method. I think depends on method, right? Change to depends on methods is equal to here I can provide curly braces and uh, provide the name of the method, which is which is actually failing. Okay, if I am providing the name of the method which is failing, so what happens in this case? Uh, okay, so I'm missing something. Depends on methods is equal to. Okay, I have to give in double quotes maybe. Let's see, yeah, there it is gone. We have to give in double quotes, guys double quotes, the name of the method, which this particular method is depending on. But the method that is depending on is failing means this particular method will get skipped automatically, okay? This particular method to be executed, it should depend on two, but it's failing means this particular method will get skipped. The last method will pass again, okay? So uh, I have modified the code in the login dot uh, Java test methods in such a way that one of the tests, two of the tests will pass, one test will fail, one test will fail with timeout, Another test will depend on another failed method and because of that it will skip, it will not get executed because of depends on methods, okay? And other method will pass, okay? So so most of the methods, all the methods in this my listeners class which are overridden from this ITS listener interface need, need to get invoked now when I run this login.java test methods. Let's see that. I'm running all the test methods. Let's see what will happen. Okay, just see here, test execution started. Login with valid credentials started. First test method will pass, guys. So it got executed and it got passed. As you can see, first test method got passed. This is for first test method. Okay, on test start, uh, on start is completed and uh, on test uh, started. Okay, some, this method, guys, okay. On test start got executed and also test method got executed and then on test success got executed. On test success from the my listeners method got in, uh, invoked and got executed and it is saying passed. For second test method, I am and say failed, right? I'm, I intentionally failed by using the assert statement. So it started, it got executed, but it failed. You see, it's saying it failed. It failed, okay? So on failed, uh, on test failed method got invoked here, okay? From my listeners class. Then on started, you see this one got failed with timeout, okay? I failed with timeout, right? Timeout is equal to 1000 milliseconds and uh, three dots live is equal to uh, two seconds. I gave that because of that, it got failed, okay? This particular method got failed. And again, this method got uh, started and it got skipped. You see, it, this particular method got depending on the failed, one of the failed methods. That's why it got skipped, okay? One method got skipped. You see, one of the 
uh, on on skip what is that on test skip right on test uh, skip method got invoked and this got printed okay on test uh, this test method name got skipped okay again started and passed last test method will pass so it got executed so finally somewhere here you will see test execution completed you can see that one skip two failures and total five tests in that two pass two failed and one skipped okay and also uh, respective methods in the my listeners class on test start got invoked on test success got invoked on test failure got invoked on test skip got invoked on test failed with the timeout got invoked okay and on uh, on test failed with timeout got invoked on start got invoked on finish got invoked but here the thing is only one class this listeners is connected right listeners is connected only to the one class this listeners my listeners class uh, overridden methods got connected only to one of the class that is login because we provided this annotation in one of the class if i have to connect this uh, my listeners to other classes in register also i have to provide other listeners in search also i have to provide other listeners in search also i have to provide at the rate listeners and connect the my listeners class but i am not going to do that okay so instead of if multiple classes needs uh, to be connected to the my listeners we should not be connecting this classes at the class level okay we should not be connecting this classes to the listeners class at the class level rather we have to connect this implement this listeners at the suit level in the test and xml file we have to implement okay how to do that i am going to explain in the next session okay here only one class connecting to the listeners and how the methods of the listeners class my listeners class are getting invoked depending on the different events raised in the login test methods and uh, how this uh, listener methods overridden methods from the itest listener listeners class uh, got invoked we have practically seen here and things are working fine but at the class level we have implemented now we have to implement at the suit level where multiple classes we are going to implement this to connect this to the listeners and let's invoke the listeners class methods uh, listeners class methods for all the suit of classes okay instead of single class like login class login search and uh, login search and register for all the classes this listener methods have to be invoked okay for that we have to implement the listeners at the suit level that i am going to explain in the next session okay so hope guys you understood how to implement the listeners at the class level in this session using the other listeners annotation from testng so that's all for this session as i mentioned we'll continue this session in the next session okay till then see you bye bye